Hello YouTube, this is Truck Pipe, and I got a box opening. Now, not exactly a pipe box opening, but it is from one of our other pipe presenters, old Sparky Pipes, Scott, up in Washington. He very generously offered to make me a walking stick because I had teased him about how much I liked the one he had showed that his wife made for him. So he very kindly made one for me and also one for Dale, the Eltopian. And Dale, living in Washington, got his right away. And I've been waiting for a week for mine to show up here. So I am really excited to get this little Dickens in here. Oh, dear. Well packed. We're going to have a ghost fart problem here in a minute. Yep, there we go. What the hell did he feed those ghosts? Woohoo! Gonna have a conniption. Thank God I'm out in the man cave. But, oh, there we go. This guy posted a video about making these sticks. I'll have to put a link to that down in the uh, descriptive area. And he wrapped this up nice. I guess the knife's going to have to come back out, because I can't get it done. Let's see here. Well, he got to take some good. bubble wrap here to drive my wife crazy. Gonna be a lot of this going on around here tomorrow. Oh man. Ooh, oh man, he gave me he told me he was gonna send me a little piece of leather so I could try to use it for stropping wow that is soft. Try to use it for stropping a cutting knife I got for my birthday last month. This is gorgeous. Pop that off. Alright, if we find the right spot, maybe. Oh, struggling away. so nice. He sent me a love note. Let us see what this says. Ah, dear Greg, this cane is made of poplar. Oh, pale hardwood. I used a hand engraver called a paragrave. Wood carving knives, files, and sandpaper to create the cane. It starts to wear. You can respray the cane with polyurethane spray. I used gloss. The rubber cap is a one and one eighth chair cap you can buy at any Lowe's. And I hope this motivates you to go out and live life even when it's hard to motivate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he knows my stubby ass sits in front of the darn YouTube all day long. And P.S. I put in the leather the leather piece for me, and I even got a nice little hand drawn Santa Claus snowman. That was nice. It must be from one of the kids. I greatly appreciate that. It's highly personalized. So he sent me off a nice hunk of leather here. This is really soft. It's like deer hide or something. So you can try to keep that knife blade going and hopefully get some projects going. But man, this is sweet. That was the first perfect idea is getting the standard cane size. So if I wear it out, I can replace it. You put all this really, I don't think I'm getting, I'm getting all the light messed up here today. 
and we'll try this later. I'll do some stills on top of this. Then he's got all that lovely carving and all that lovely Celtic knot work in there. Fantastic. And then up from the handle to a big Celtic knot on the top. Rose decoration. That's just super duper duper duper. Woo! I am so stoked. I cannot thank you enough, Scott. This is just super. Uh, I know how much effort it takes for you to get in there and, and get to working in the in the shop. And I will try not to disappoint you by not using this regularly enough. Let's sit down and finish this little devil here. Thought I'd stop for a minute, try to give you all a little bit better look. I realized that lighting wasn't so great. But Scott, there is uh Thank you just doesn't seem to cut it. This is like uh way above and beyond. I mean I saw those videos, the video you posted, and I'll put a link to that down in the description area of uh showing when you were getting ready to carve them working on them and then even had your daughter help with the close-up picture which I thought was pretty cool and I saw Dale's unveiling but I am so stoked and he got all that Celtic in there he must have read my uh, profile info on my channel because I wrote to I had written on there that I became an IBM as my mother-in-law used to call me Irish by marriage so if you're not subscribed to Sparky the little easy for me not to say Sparky's pipes I'll definitely put a link to his channel on the descriptions. And I, I don't know how to thank you enough, Scott. And that, that the, you know, the extra, the extra measure of getting that strop in there. Now I just got to get my little hands on some wood and, and see how badly I can cut my own fingers with that silly flex cut knife and try to do some little carving. I got a project in mind. I got to try to make a, a little nativity set. Maybe by next Christmas I'll be able to. To carve it, and I can give it to my wife, who's very, very into getting those little uh, nativity scenes. Thank you so much, Scott. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, I will try to get that and wear it out properly, starting tomorrow morning. So, all y'all, be good and be safe. And roll on and puff on.